Welcome to Conversations with Body and Mind with myself, Antoinette Nirvana. Body and Mind is your health and wellness online directory. And coming up in today's conversation, we'll be talking about body stress release, or BSR as it's known, with Simon Green. Good morning, Simon. How are you? Hi, good morning, Nirvana. I'm great, thanks. How are you? Good. Well, looking forward to talking to you. One of my absolute favorite body treatments. Looking forward to you explaining this a little bit more. But before we do that, I'd like to know a little bit more about your journey before BSR. I saw on your page on the Body and Mind website, you said, finding yourself in the wilderness. So give us a little bit of a journey before and how did you kind of go, okay, this is what I want to do. I came to Body Stress Release, I guess about four years ago. I was retrenched at the time, having moved to South Africa about 12 years ago and worked in corporates. Prior to that, I was 30 years in the, in the army in the UK, in the British Army. So had a life of mechanical stress, I guess, emotional stress and uh, you know, battlefield uh, experiences and things like that. So lived a life of stress with my body, both physically and mentally, before I retired. I then moved into consultancy work and doing technology work. So my background is in is in engineering, science, engineering, kind of hard stuff, you know, with numbers and uh, electronics and things like that. So having moved to South Africa, I then I worked for Janelle Aerostructures for a while in aircraft manufacturing. Uh, again, another high tempo business environment where you know production is key, people are on their feet a lot working. So again, exposed me to quite a lot of stress and, and, and gave me an experience of dealing with people in stress. At this point, of course, I knew very, very little about body stress and how it manifests itself in the body. But that was to kind of come back and, and bite me a bit later. After Danel, I worked with G4S for a while, again in, in technology, again in the corporate environment in a kind of monthly sales cycle, which is uh, quite stressful, quite demanding, and then was retrenched. About six years ago, I spent about two years sit- then sitting at, at a computer, doing research, writing books, and ended up with a very bad back. Bent down to pick a leaf up one day. My back went crook, and after about six weeks, my wife dragged me to a body stress release practitioner. After about three sessions, my back was sorted. After about five or six sessions, the guy who was working on me, very now a very good friend of mine, said, well, we've got very interesting backgrounds. We kind of, you know, both had the same journey. Why don't you become a BSR practitioner? And I just couldn't think of a reason why not to, having experienced the wonderful technique, having had kind of a life of, of stress. So I went off to train. Our training academy is in Wilderness near George. So hence the, the, the kind of strap line for my, my story is a journey into the wilderness. And off I went in 2015 to become a body stress release practitioner. Trained at the academy for about, we trained there for about five months, graduated in October 2015 and then came home to set up my practice. And that's my journey in, in you know, into body stress release. And it's, it's, a, it's quite a typical journey. Quite often, you know, we do have practitioners coming in later life and a lot come through their own journeys and experience body stress release as a client. So a lot of our, our clients become body stress release practitioners. Absolutely. I know when I experienced my first body stress release about 16, 17 years ago, hurt my back in a gym exercise or something and I really couldn't even get my back straight. And one session with body stress release and I literally walked out. I knew I had to do another two but at least I could already start getting my back up straight. Since then, I was sold on body stress release. Yes, I'm I'm glad to hear you you had a great experience too. Absolutely. Now we want to know what is body stress release and what is the magic around it, Uh, the benefits, what is it that happens when you go and see a body practitioner, if you could give us a little bit of detail and information about that. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Well, first thing, body stress release is a, a South African technique that was developed in the 1980s by two South African doctors who devise this new technique at looking where lines of tension get stored in the body. So when our body gets overstressed with tension, we can't adapt to it anymore. We can't be stressed and release, and release it. Our, our body tightens up to, um, to protect itself and then locks in stress and tension. So body stress really works purely in the physical domain. We, um, you know, we address the body by testing muscles and muscle groups to find out where stress and tension becomes locked in. That locked in tension is relatively easy to find. And then how we how we actually unlock it is we really plug into the body's natural ability to heal itself. So this is another, we don't class ourselves as healers or a healing modality or therapeutic in any way. We're completely, if you like, uh, non-therapeutic. We don't do diagnosis. We don't class ourselves as treatments. So what we do uh, in the technique is um, work predominantly between the base of the sacrum and the base of the skull. 
it's like the nerve superhighway. Most of the body's functionality is, is controlled through nerves in the spine. And by locating stress and tension uh, in the body, we're able to really just provide the body with a short, sharp stimulus with, it, with our hands to really be able to get the body and the brain to pay attention to the area that I'm working in. So what we're trying to do really is reconnect stress tension area with brain function that may have filtered out the, the signals to um, to release the stress and the tension and then allow clients' bodies to, to heal themselves. So as you say, the magic, the magic really doesn't come from the practitioner. The magic comes from the client's body and the human body's natural ability to heal itself. So when stress and tension is locked in, and that normally comes from things like mechanical stress, emotional stress, chemical stress, when that stress and tension gets locked into the body, it's just the barrier really to the body healing itself. And all we're trying to do as body stress release practitioners is to facilitate your body healing itself. It's been like kind of pressing the reset button and getting the body to, to start the natural process of healing. And that's one of the reasons why it's so effective and one of the reasons why it works so well. It is a process, can take three sessions. My journey was, I think, about eight sessions before I was kind of fully sorted. And, you know, we devise a, a number of sessions to suit the client. So the client's journey is, is their own journey to you know, reducing whatever issues they came in with. We see clients with a wide variety of issues, pain, numbness, pins and needles, headaches, other bodily dysfunctions as well. When nerve pathways become interrupted, then all sorts of issues can arise due to body stress. Things that we don't necessarily associate with body stress. So it could be um, heartburn, indigestion, issues with wrists, issues with the feet and swelling. All, all manner of things can be caused by by this interruption to the to the nerve pathways in the body. And that's really the, the essence of body stress release. And that's so, so powerful. Yeah, I remember when I went to see my practitioner as well, he was talking about chemical stress and the environmental stress as well, which could be caused by, for instance, somebody that you're working with, the smell of the aftershave or even their energetics. Like if you had a bad vibe with somebody in the office, that could really cause stress in your body and you don't even realize that is why you are in discomfort somewhere in your body. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when we test the body for stress, we can determine whether there's stress in a particular muscle, not necessarily associate where it's come from. Certainly, you know, at the first consultation, we take a full case history we kind of baseline everything that's happened with the client's body in terms of any operations, uh, which is a mechanical stress, any breaks or fractures, again, mechanical stress, uh, any medications client might be on, form of chemical stress. And then we discuss the, the kind of main issues that the, the clients have come to see us and baseline everything in terms of the start points. And it's, it's quite important to do that. So we've got a got a, a yardstick of future improvements. And as we move through the sessions, as we go through each session, we determine whether we, you know, the client really determines whether there's been an improvement and then over a period we would do a kind of front to back review to, to see if the clients are really improving and, and we're getting to the root cause of, uh, of where the stress came from. Yeah, exactly. And like with any other vehicle that we have to keep it maintained and try and do a regular maintenance, I would say, with body stress release and just come up, come in for a service or checkup or, you know, just to realign all of those stress points, correct? Yeah, that's a, a great point. I see quite a few clients each month that come in. I mean, I had one particular client case study where a lady had had a headache for 30 years. By session four, she'd been headache free and was completely invested in body stress release to the extent she, she wanted to come back every month even though she didn't have any issues as a maintenance issue and we see a lot of clients who are prepared to do that it's a good preventative way to kind of de-stress the body before any part of the stress process that clients have been in re-engages in the body stress can come back i mean if we, if we don't sometimes change our lifestyles you know kind of live a healthier living in the body will restress. The idea of maintenance is, is a great idea. We should be kind of maintaining our bodies like we maintain our cars. Exactly. Simon, why don't you give us how people can get hold of you, where are you based, social media pages, website, contact numbers, anything that you would like to share with us. Uh, I'm based in Johannesburg. I work out of a practice in Kensington on the, the southeast corner of Johannesburg near the shopping centre Eastgate. I've got quite a big social media presence. I'm on uh, Facebook, also Twitter, I've got a Twitter feed and a website www.simonbsr.coza. I'm also on LinkedIn. I do a number of corporate engagements. I run a practice from home, but I also do health and wellness events as well. So we go out and engage with um, with corporates, and that's really from my from my, you know from my background of working in corporate. Body stress release ports very well into into a corporate environment. Do sessions with corporates and run information days and help help educate people. And a lot of what we do in BSI as practitioners is really educate 
educating people about how the technique works and how the bodies work, how that we really possess all the intelligence we need in, in our bodies to be able to, to heal ourselves. We just sometimes need a nudge in the right direction. Body stress release practitioners, that's really what we're here to do. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Simon. And please don't forget that you can get hold of Simon's information on the Body and Mind website, which is bodyandmind.coza, as well as our blog, which is bodyandmindblog.coza. You can also download the Body and Mind Health Directory mobile app. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can get notifications on any of our interviews, as well as comment or ask our practitioners any questions and get in contact with them that way. Thank you very much for sharing your beautiful work and journey into the wilderness with us. It's been a pleasure. Thanks very much, Savannah. Thank you very much, Simon. You have a lovely day. Hey, you too. Bye-bye now. Bye.